Hi everybody, it's Laura Click with Blue Kite Marketing and I haven't done on video in a little while and I thought it's time I practice what I preach and, and uh, talk to you in real life and give you some tips today. Um, coming out of uh, Social Slam last week, it was great to speak at that event and see so many friends and wonderful people I hadn't seen in a while and meet some new faces too. Um, and while I was at the event, uh, there were a lot of students there. There were some in my session. Um, there were a lot at the conference and um, was tweeting with some of them and, and I've actually been talking to some people over the last couple of months I keep getting the same question over and over again and thought it was time to address it on the blog and that is um, the question about going into a career um, in social media and, and best advice and tips for that. Here's the first part of that uh, answer. I think that um, the idea of going into social media itself um, is something that's not going to exist in a few years. Um, social media is just one channel or one aspect of marketing. So I think those that want to go into social media, those career paths are not always going to be there. So I think, um, first of all, I would, I would keep that in the back of your mind and, and know that you need to diversify. Um, if you are going into social media, I think the the options that are available to you, purely social media jobs, are community managers, and those are going to be available at larger corporations, larger companies um, that have people full time, you know, managing social media accounts. Um, beyond that, there's also uh, social media strategists, but again, I think that kind of concept and idea is going to start going away. Um, so that said, I have. Um, three recommendations for students uh, who are looking to go into social media as a career path or for someone who's wanting to add social media to their uh, repertoire, so to speak, or, or change careers. So the, the first one um, is to do this. Um, focus on marketing strategy. As I hinted at a second ago, I think that um, social media is is certainly a piece of overall marketing, but it's rare that um, any company that's trying to grow their business is just only going to focus on social media. There's likely um, a number of other channels or avenues that businesses will pursue. So um, you need to understand how social media plays a role into overall marketing strategy. So for anyone who's wanting to um, pursue uh, social media as a discipline, they need to understand um, a an integrated um, approach and how social media plays a factor into that. So if you are in school, I would recommend taking um, marketing and public relations classes um, or business classes that, that talk about um, marketing strategy and, and you're going to be far, far better off. Um, the second thing is this, writing and storytelling. Um, I've talked a lot in the blog the last couple of months about the power of content. I truly believe um, that to be successful on social media, you've got to have a story. You've got to have really good writing and really good content behind what you're sharing on social channels. If you don't have your own branded content to share, it's going to be really hard for you to build a community and gain traction on social networks. So if you're not already a good writer, if that's not already something that is in your toolbox, I would um, recommend, you know, buffing, you know, buffering yourself up at that, um, buffering, buffing, that's the word, um, you know, ramping up your, your, your skill set in that area. Um, and I think that's going to make you much more marketable as a candidate um, in the social media world. Third one is this. Measurement, um, as as a lot of my friends and colleagues have talked about, um, in the old school days of, of marketing and PR, or especially in the PR world, it was all about um, a lot of uh, fluffy things, fluffy metrics, soft metrics. Um, and while um, um, qualitative research can be um, a useful and is a useful thing, you also need to have hard numbers to back up what you're doing. So that means learning to... Um, read numbers, financial numbers, learn how your marketing and social media efforts uh, play a role in sales, um, how it um, plays a role in your profit margins or your sales cycle, all of these things. So um, if you don't, if you're not already comfortable with spreadsheets and numbers and learning how to read analytics um, and data, then that's something I would strongly recommend you you take the time to start doing. So um, there are probably a lot of other tips I could offer, but those are three to start off with. So if you are um, a 
marketing, PR, social media pro, I'd love to know what other tips you would add uh, to you know give to students who are pursuing a career in this area. And if you are a student and you still have questions or that didn't answer your question, I'd love to know in the comments. So whether you're a pro, let me know what you would add. And if you're a student or someone who's per pursuing a career, I'd love to know um, what other questions you may have about pursuing a career in social media and hopefully, more importantly, the larger scale of marketing and PR. Thanks so much and hope to hear, uh, look forward to hearing what you have to say.